Welcome to Mid Journey Office Hours Update, July 17th, 2024. Let's cover some of the main things that were discussed in this week's office hours. First things first, MidJourney is working on room syncing from Discord to website. This was brought up previously, but essentially they're trying to create some more collaboration and quote unquote magic by syncing these rooms over to the website itself. In doing so, that may change the sidebar a bit with clear options around personalization as they work on that sort of V2 of personalization. And in doing so, they're going to be adding some demographic controls. So this could be super interesting as they're starting to test that in the coming week. And then they're going to look at doing a psychometric test to really understand the connections that exist between personality and aesthetics. So super interesting stuff. This is obviously very innovative when it comes to AI image generation. There is no other tool currently doing this. So that's exciting. They are currently working on two versions of 6.5, which is coming next. So that's going to be an alpha version, which is going to be used as sort of a testing ground. And then the final version, there's really no indication as to how they're going to release that, whether they're going to sort of give that to a certain threshold of users users based on how many images they've generated. So we'll keep you updated there. They're also working on an upscaler for 6.5. So they mentioned that this should be much better than the current options that exist in the tool. So that's particularly interesting as upscaling has become a huge talking point for mid-journey users. There are testing runs for V7, but that's still going to be a few months away, probably. Based on the conversations that I heard in mid-journey office hours, this looks to be something that's going to be released come Q4 of this year. Now, perhaps the most interesting part of office hours is the depth control nets. So they're working on these. Let's just focus on what the benefits are for the sake of time here. So it does a few things. One, you're going to get more realistic images. Depth control nets essentially help the AI make pictures where objects are in the right place places. So for example, a person will look closer or further away, just like in real life. And this makes the pictures look more real too better details. When the AI knows how far things are away from the camera, it can add more details to the parts of the picture, especially those that are closer to you. So this means that you get pictures with sharper and clearer details. Number three, it corrects overlapping. Sometimes one object blocks part of another object. So like something sitting in front of a chair, for example, a cat or a dog. Depth control nets help AI understand how to draw these overlaps correctly. So everything looks more natural. Number four, realistic shadows and light. Depth control nets, they provide information that helps AI understand where to place the shadows and how the light should look. Obviously, this is already pretty good with Image Journey, but this is going to improve even better because it makes the lighting in the picture look just right and match real life. And then lastly, different angles. If you want to see the same scene from another angle, depth control net's going to help the AI make the picture look correct from that new viewpoint. So it's like being able to turn around in a video game, for example, and everything still looks real. So those are the primary benefits and what you need to know about control nets. And as for other updates coming, these are a little bit further off, but uh, they're getting some cool data sets that may help them for their drawing systems as they move forward with innovating those. 3D is still a few months away. That should be this year though, probably Q4. They're also working on some secret projects Nothing to share yet though. And then style explorers should be expected in the next month, maybe two, just depending on how soon they get to that. But essentially this is going to make its way over to the UI in the website. And then lastly, combine reframe and repaint into an editor. This is obviously gonna make that current situation a little bit more coherent and better for user experience. So those are the updates from this week, a little bit of a lighter week as it relates to mid journey office hour updates, but hopefully those give you some insight as to what's coming and what to expect ahead.